Namaste parents. Hi dear children. Welcome back to Cognitive Class. In today's Cognitive Class, we shall work with the Cognitive Workbook. In the Cognitive Workbook, open page number 12, where we have an activity to write the number of sides and corners and match the shapes with their names. For that, first we shall work with the materials. Children, can you recognize this shape? This is a triangle. Triangle has one, two, three sides and one, two, three corners. Let us move on to the next shape. We call it as chevron. How many sides and how many corners does a chevron have? One, two, three and four. Four. Chevron has four sides and one, two, three, four. Four corners. Next shape that I am going to take is a hexagon. How many sides and corners does the hexagon has? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six sides. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 corners. How many sides and corners does a trapezium has? 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 sides. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 corners. Pentagon. Pentagon has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 corners. Pentagon has 5 sides and 5 corners. This is heptagon. In heptagon we have, let us count the sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. We have 7 sides and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 corners. Let us move on to the textbook part. Now we shall work with the textbook. For that we shall open cognitive workbook page number 12. In cognitive workbook page number 12 we have an activity to write the number of sides and corners and match the shapes with their names. Here we have few shapes. Here we have to count the sides and corners of each and every shape and write in the provided places. Let us count the sides for the shape chevron. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 sides and 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 corners. Let us move on to the next shape. It is a hexagon. In hexagon we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 sides and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 corners. Let us move on to the next shape. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 sides and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 corners. Then then we shall move on to the next shape. It is a trapezium. Here we have 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 sides and 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 corners. The next shape is a pentagon. It has 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 sides and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 corners. 
next we have star let us count how many sides and corners it has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 it has 10 sides and now we shall count the corners 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 ten. 10 corners it has 10 sides and 10 corners the next shape is heptagon let us count the sides and corners 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 7 sides and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 seven corners it has 7 sides and 7 corners now we are still left out with one more activity here we have to match the shapes to their names the first one has been already done for you it is a triangle the next name is quadrilateral quadrilateral is a shape with four sides so chevron is a quadrilateral and trapezium is also a quadrilateral let us match them six sides and six cornered shape we call it as hexagon here is the name hexagon let us match it the shape with eight sides and eight corners we call it as octagon let us match it trapezium is a quadrilateral we have already matched it the next one is pentagon with five sides and five corners let us match it the star shape contains 10 sides and 10 corners we call it as decagon it is a decagon and we are left out with a heptagon with seven sides and seven corners let us match it dear parents kindly help your child to learn the shapes and their names let the child understand how to name the shapes according to its sides and corners let us move on to the next activity where we have to trace and color the shapes to mirror the pattern trace the shape given after completing the tracing work we have to color the pattern with the mirror pattern of the given shape so the middle portion will take yellow as it is brown comes here green here purple and orange as i have told you earlier the mirror image is the one which is exactly opposite to the given image complete these activities let us move on to the next page in page number 13 we have an activity to draw the shapes and color them as shown here we have few shapes to draw the shapes we can use the ruler the first shape given is a parallelogram i'll draw the parallelogram here with the help of a ruler and then we have to draw this middle line also we call it as a diagonal then color it as instructed in the first picture in the same way draw the next picture also it is also a parallelogram we can call it as a quadrilateral also complete the picture with the help of a ruler draw the mid lines which joins the two corners we call them as diagonals and color respectively as shown in the first image complete the third shape also after completing this let us move on to the next 
activity where we have to count and write the number of triangles in the pictures. Here we have two pictures. Let us count the number of triangles in this given pictures. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We have 5 triangles here. Let us count the number of triangles in the second picture also. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We have 5 triangles in both the pictures. Dear parents, kindly help your child to understand and complete the concept given in page number 12 and 13. Thank you.